Yeah, I always, <laughs> I always end up just saying I'm an artist right. because it's the thing that can is all comp encompassing to what I really do. Right. Um, let's see. I was born um, on the East Coast in New Haven, Connecticut. I grew up there. Uh, started art. I would say probably in middle school and started drawing mm -hmm. and of course at the same time hip-hop came around so I got into all forms of hip-hop I was already skateboarding and riding BMX growing up and the graphics and logos and just everything that pertained to those two things were already influencing me along with music music was a big influence in right. my life so hip-hop mainly so or just any type of no music? just really rock and roll growing up you yeah. know classic rock as they call it now yeah. but um, hip hop came along and that was just like, you know, that was just the thing that I gravitated towards. And then once I learned about the graffiti aspect of hip hop, yeah, that I was like drawn immediately to that. So and were you listening? I mean, were you like looking at graffiti in Connecticut or were you like, cause I know it's, it's close to New York. Were yep. you, did you ever go to New York and like all the time get to see all my father worked in New York? Oh, okay. And at the time, my parents were divorced, so I would hop on a train in New Haven yeah. and go visit my father in New York all the time. So I was seeing graffiti constantly, yeah. you know, from the age of, God, 12, you know, until now. Okay. Always. What was your dad doing out in New York? Was he just working just uh No, my dad was a uh, uh, record producer for uh, Atlantic Records. Oh, Wow. And uh, he worked for uh, Sony. He worked for Atlantic. Um, he had his own label called Vendetta. And uh, he put out, um, when he worked for Atlantic, he basically managed sales and groups. And then when he uh, moved to his own label, he started uh, putting out music like uh, Seduction and Debbie right, Gibson right. and like just all that pop music of yeah. the 80s and stuff. So him, him being with the record label Atlantic, were you able to like go with him to certain things? And oh, like, were you the in the industry just like meeting people? All the time. Yeah. All the How time. How was that? I, it was awesome. You know, I got, I think the greatest person I ever met was uh, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. Oh, I, wow. I was so stoked. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got to meet, I was very fortunate and uh, got to meet uh, a lot of classic rock bands and, um, uh, I remember one day specifically I was probably about I want to say I was 18 by this time yeah and I was in my dad's office and uh, Grandmaster Flash was in there no way talking to him and I was just like I was just so starstruck, starstruck man. <laughs> yeah it was ridiculous Did I beg you didn't see my Grandmaster Flash just like wow yeah I was it was just you know anytime I came across someone like that was a star mm -hmm. I kind of held back I, I, I was never one to be like oh let me get a flick or yeah. You know, can I have an autograph? Kind of like a uh, fanboy a little bit. Yeah. I kind of just, <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, I always respected the moment. And if I got to meet people, I would introduce myself and say hello and mm -hmm. tell them how much they meant and what they did meant to me. Yeah. Um, but I never really like, you know, totally fanned out. Like that do you like now do thinking back to that, like moments like that, do you, um, is it cool when, when you see, fans of yours come up to you and like say oh like how much their your work means to them like do you you kind of get does that kind of tie back to like when you would meet somebody i'm always thankful you know mm -hmm. I'm, I'm super grateful and thankful that i get to create art and get to be creative yeah. for a living um it's very like i have a lot of friends that i grew up doing art mm -hmm. with and uh they don't get to do it you yeah. know, on a daily basis, yeah. they still do it as a hobby. Like and a some of them just stopped, you know, altogether, which is yeah. a shame. But um, I'm super grateful and super thankful I still get to do it. Yeah. 